Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Gentleman's Talk. Today I'm just uh, sitting uh, front porch, smoking my first pipe, my first smoke after COVID. It's been 13 days now, and man, it's it's been a journey. Sitting outside here, just uh, 35 degrees, so cold. Wearing my uh, custom-made—I uh, don't know what to call it—but it's like a rope that my friend made me. It's, uh, he made it from uh, back home in Saudi, and um, been having it now for a year, or it's, it's probably like a year and a half, and just wear it every time it's cold outside but uh it's, it's doing a lot for me today i am smoking my cub my gatlinburg cup with uh caves cove cavendish in it and uh man, i have to tell you i'm really enjoying my smoke it's been a while mm. I'm really happy that I am smoking again and I'm tasting everything. I blood coffee. It's been a journey. Well, we'll start by explaining what's been going on with pipe smoking and COVID and all that. Mm. Well, um, as you guys know, I had COVID and uh, I got COVID, I think, that day of New Year. So it's been almost 13 days now. Uh, after five, six days of having COVID, like everything is, every, everything was going back to normal. Like uh, I'm not coughing or anything. And. Uh, I'm not sick or having fever or nothing. What's crazy about it? Six, seven days and nothing. Everything is fine. I'm, I'm. I remember like eating normal and tasting stuff normal. And I was surprised that I did not lose my smell or taste. And then, uh, yeah, after six, the sixth or the seventh day. I went to eat outside in a restaurant, like a sushi place, and this sushi place is—it's been my favorite sushi place in in the, the in the country, because I tried a lot of them, and this one is like still my favorite, and so for some reason, but I went uh, I went to the it's called seaweed roll. If I cough, it's because it's cold. It's not because COVID, but. <coughs> it's, it's really cold, it's like 35 degrees. My nose keep running and all that, but... Um, but yeah, I, I I went there that day and I ate, and I was like, man, the food tastes really bad. I don't know what's going on with them. They're not cooking well and all that, and I was like, it tastes bad. It, it's... Uh, that place, like, they put a lot of sauce on the sushi, so... And I did not taste anything but like the fish. Like it was so fishy. Like I understand like sushi is supposed to be fishy, but that one is really fishy. It's like annoying. It's like I don't know how to describe describe it to you, but most of the time that place I go to is like the sushi is full of sauce and it's like delicious. No big deal. I thought it's a bad day and it happened before. I don't remember like I remember it's it's been bad but not that bad, but it happened before. So I was like eh. Maybe they are ready to close and all that, so not a big deal. Well, the next day, well, the next day, hmm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the next day, I went to uh, my favorite Mexican restaurant. Same thing. I ordered. Fajitas and all that, 
and I was like, everything tasted normal, and the fajitas also look kind of like oily anyway, so I was like, yeah, it's kind of oily, but the sour cream tasted terrible. And I was like, oh, it must be something wrong with sour cream now. And I was like, yes, yeah, it's, it's not, it doesn't taste right. And, and I was like, well, that's kind of weird to me because I still taste and everything is normal. So why am like, the only explanation was in my head that everything I was tasting bad, it's because the food is bad. But in reality, it's not. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, I went back home and all that. and. I was like, I'm ready to smoke. I really want to smoke my pipe again since I'm not coughing and I'm feeling good and all that. I open my tobacco uh, jars and start sniffing them. And I mean, it's I mean, it smells normal to me, so no problem. Nothing is wrong. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give myself three more days until I fully clear from that because I don't want to give it a chance. Especially about the new pipe, the newer pipe, the one I showed you guys in the last video. And then I, uh, I got a new tobacco that I don't want to try, which is uh, Boswell North uh, Northwood. I don't want to just give it a chance and it tastes bad or something, and I got get disappointed. So I'll give it a couple of days. So that's what I said. And uh, sure thing. I waited two more days. Well, three days ago, I finally decided to take myself to the coffee shop. And uh, I was like, I'm gonna take my pipe that I smoke and I know how it tastes, which is this one, like uh, the country gentleman, the one from Gatlinburg, the one I married, the uh, gets cooked and this with. And I was like, since I know how it tastes like, I'm just gonna go and try that and see what's going on. And see if it tastes everything normal, then I'll try the new blend, which is North Woods. Because I don't wanna try the new blend and judge it because I don't know if it's that's what I'm tasting or not. I remember. Going to the coffee shop. I ordered this, um, it's called Wild Wild Tribe Mocha. It's like Mexican Coke or something. I, I mean, it's my usual drink, so nothing new. I took a sip, and um, the guy asked me, "Do you want it spicy this time? Like, do you want to add more cinnamon, make it like spicy, like give it more kick?" I was like, "Sure, why not?" I took a sip, tasted normal, everything is fine. A little bit spicy than usual, but it's fine because I asked for it. <clears throat> and. Uh, I decided to light on my pipe <laughs> and I'm not I'm not joking or not kidding you I loaded the tobacco I did not I usually open the jar take a sniff and all that take a you know deep sniff and to smell the tobacco and all that I didn't do it this time because I was kind of like an, really excited I want to smell <laughs> it's been a while I, I loaded the pipe took the lighter just like that you know just Shattering light, shattering light the, yeah, the first light, and I remember the first taste or the first hit that I got was the most disgusting thing I ever tried in my life. It tasted straight like a musty marshmallow, like holy holy cow man it, it tasted really bad like I literally went like just like uh, I pulled myself back in the seat and I looked at the, the pipe I was like what the heck was that and then I tried to retrohale and all that to see what's what's going on and literally I retrohaled it And I was like, eh, that that tastes gross. It's literally like musty tobacco, uh, musty marshmallow or or, or like something really bad. I don't even have to. It's horrible taste. 
I was like, maybe because it's the coffee, or maybe the cinnamon is like affected all that, and sometimes it happens. So maybe I burned the the, the cup while you know I tried to figure out something that you know tried to give an explanation why it tasted like that, why it tasted the tobacco tasted like that, and I was like, okay, let me put the coffee on the side and take a sip of water and try again. <clears throat> Mm. Sure thing, I did that. Man, it is terrible again. Same exact taste. Try to retrohale it, and the first thing I know, I put the pipe down, scoop the tobacco out, dump it all out. And I was like, this is bad. And I hope, I was like saying, now it, everything like kind of clicked because the food was bad for the past three days tobacco is disgusting and i was praying inside of my heart that please god let it be just that tobacco is bad like because i i, I switched the tobacco from small mason jar to another one and i was like maybe there's a water maybe got has mold or something something like i hope it's just the tobacco because that's uh an easy fix right and I was like, I'm gonna go home. I'm just gonna see what's going on. Literally, did not even finish my coffee. I was like, screw this. I'm not even enjoying it. So I'm just gonna go home. And I'm not kidding, you went straight to home. <coughs> the first thing I was trying to do is start opening all type of tobaccos and sniff them and smell them and see what's going on so I start with um, you know Basel best and lane 1q and all the aromatic vanilla thing and as soon as I open the jars get it close to my nose nothing nothing not even a hint or nothing I was like well now this is bad I opened my uh, golden slice um, Virginia the vapor nothing and uh, I opened my black Irish Swiss trying to sniff it nothing and I was like okay I'm gonna give this the last chance if I don't smell this now I'm really screwed I opened nightcap and morning pipe and mix mixture my mixer whatever and I cannot smell oh and uh, what is it the oh, I forgot the name of it it's um, the plum pudding the special reserve one that one is strong tobacco like if you sniff it out of the the jar it hits you in the face literally stick my nose inside and inhale as as as, as hard as i can nothing and at that point i knew yeah it's it's me it's not the tobacco it's nothing uh the only thing i can smell is the uh cold uh red blood moon or whatever uh, the sherry one I can sn uh, sniff it but I that's the only thing and uh, I was like okay maybe my nose is the problem let me taste it and this is where I really know everything went downhill and everything is is I, I really got de depressed that day because I load up three pipes nightcap I load up mm, Basil, best whatever, and the uh, Virginia's, which is the golden slice. What is so crazy is all the tobaccos taste tasted exa exactly identical. I put it in the different pipes. I mean, I haven't smoked these pipes for like I don't know how long. Latakia, I cannot taste any of that. Not I cannot taste the resin. I cannot taste raisins I mean I cannot taste nothing nothing literally nothing all I taste is that nasty musty marshmallow out of corn cup out of briars out of mersham all of it even the Latakia even nightcap it tasted exactly like lane one q to me and I was like man this is really bad and I really got depressed that day because I was so scared that I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna be able to taste for a while, and uh, I, I just didn't want this to happen because I really enjoy tobacco and I really enjoy food. Like food to me is like part of 
my joy, like part of my happiness. I love eating. Not necessarily bad food, like I just love food. I love to eat, I love to taste, I love to smell. Um, coffee tasted a little bit different, but it's not that bad. Uh, I had a steak that day also before I smoked the tobacco and I couldn't taste anything yet. The only thing I can taste is like, I can taste it, but I cannot identify, identify the flavor. I cannot tell you what is this flavor. All I taste is like, mm, it's something good and you know, something good salty or something good or sweet. But I notice I taste a lot of salt. Like if I put a little bit of salt, I taste everything super salty. <coughs> That's for sure. But anyway, that day I, I, I just got disappointed and I was really, really worried that it's gonna take a long time for me to able to gain all that again. Because, you know, it's I've been smoking for a year and a half or a few months, a year, a few months, and I've been working on my palate and see what I like, what I don't like and all that. And after all that, I was, because I was worried about not getting my taste or smell back because I know people in my family, they did not get that bag since forever, man. It's like four, five, six, seven months. And I was like, no, this is gonna be bad. Anyway, I was like, I'm just gonna be patient and I'll give a few days maybe within two weeks I'll go back to normal because I went online I was reading and all of that and it's it, it says literally you lo you lose your taste buds and smell four to five days after you're getting COVID which just makes sense that's what happened to me and I did not think about it I thought in the beginning when you were really sick but that's not the case Sure thing. Wait for two to three days. Um, still the same thing, and I always just be patient again and again and again every day. And what I did is every day I go to my tobacco jars, start opening them and smell them. And every day I notice myself. I keep picking up. The smell again. <coughs> I picking up their raisin, uh, picking up the vanilla and all that from different tobacco. But the lot of key uh, took forever for me to pick up. So yesterday I opened um, Northwoods and Nightcap, and I noticed that lot of key coming back in. And I was like, man, I'm really excited. I'm really excited and happy because this is it's going back normal super fast and I'm really thankful about it thank you God uh, even to start to taste my food and all that so it's it's really didn't take a while and I remember I, I when I first start to smell the stuff again I remember I literally put a little bit of tobacco on the corn cob and it tried it was lame one cue because I don't, I don't want to keep throwing tobacco because I want to start with cheap ones and I was tasting the mustard marshmallow a little bit but I can see the improvement I couldn't even smell the smoke in the beginning I couldn't even smell the ashes nothing to me it's not even a tobacco it's not even a smoke it's it's weird I cannot even smell the tobacco so uh, that day when I try I want to try uh, I, I went ahead and tried it again uh, I kind of like tasted that little bit of tobacco and the ash a little bit and then even my fingers start to smell like ash and and I was like yes finally I'm, I'm smelling tobaccos and it's weird when I'm you know no one really get happy smelling ash but I was happy because I know that's a sign of tobacco so and taste of tobacco and the characteristic of tobacco it's, it's finally back to me normal so I was like, yes, I'm picking that up again. So I was like, I guarantee you by tomorrow, which is today, that uh, if I start, like, 
load up a bowl and smoke it, I'm gonna taste it normal again, completely, maybe 85 to 90%. And before I did that, I literally opened my jar of tobacco, smelt it, and it smelled exactly like I used to remember and all that. So I was like, that's a really good sign. Load up a bowl, came outside and uh, voila. Just exactly the same. I would say 90%. You know, I I, I, I can taste almost everything. 90%, 10%, I will leave it for maybe the weather because it's kind of cold and my nose is dripping and all that and <coughs> coughing. So, you know, just normal sickness, like more normal. You know, when you get sick, you don't taste anything sometimes. And I remember it going crazy because I remember all these YouTubers like from YTPC when they get COVID, like some of them got COVID. Their experience was a little bit different than me because the only thing they said, we cannot taste the tobacco, which is fine with me. If that's what I <clears throat> experienced, I would not be shocked because to me, when you're sick, it's normal and you don't taste anything. But literally when I smell and taste the stuff different, now I'll get, I'm, I'm worried. I went Google and watch other YouTubers and their reaction about first smoke after COVID. None of them described the smoke was nasty or like like bad food or bad dessert, like musty marshmallow. But I went to Google and there's this dude in uh, I think Pop Magazine had exactly the same experience as me. <clears throat> he he loaded up this bowl of flat key and. Uh, English blend and start smoking it. He, he described it exactly like like mine, musty, nasty marshmallow. And I was like, well, that's another person have the same experience. But I was not. I, I'm not gonna be upset if I don't taste anything. But what got me shocked is I literally tasted bad. But uh, but I mean, it's something I experienced and. I'm glad I experienced that because <clears throat> that really made me appreciate. I really I do appreciate the tobaccos and everything, but also that make me really appreciate more like the stuff that I'm smoking. Because you know when you lose something, you really miss it and you appreciate it more. This is how human I guess are. When you lose something, you really appreciate it after you lose it. So, but I always appreciate the tobacco. Always respect it. Always love pipe tobacco I never had a bad pipe tobacco before I always enjoy every single one but this experience made me really thankful and I'm really happy that I can taste the tobacco again and, uh, and I'm enjoying my first smoke and coffee anyway oh uh, I was too scared from just going to my room and look at these pipes and uh, I'm just really every time I look at them I really got upset because I, I was worried about not be able to taste them again and I'm, I'm really happy that I'm tasting everything normal now and I'm looking forward to to, uh, to uh, try my new pipe that I bought the nerd pipe and um, I decided it's gonna be my uh, Virginia pipe. Also, also, I got, uh, I got a uh, Falcon pipe. That's the only pipe I can find online. And I found a lot of balls, but I, I paired one with my Falcon. And I, I will show you guys the Falcon pipe soon in probably next two videos, or not the next one, but the next one. Because I think the next one I'm gonna smoke my uh, neuropipe, and maybe then I try Nor uh, Northwoods, Boswell Northwoods, and yeah, probably gonna be two videos from now. But anyway, who knows? Maybe it will change. Well, that's it for today. I am just gonna sit, relax, and enjoy my first ball after COVID, my real ball after COVID. And I will see you guys in the next video.